out of here. Okay, uh, I'm back out here at this park that uh, you guys see me detect on a couple videos back. Uh, I've been out here quite a few times, but I've still yet to hit this whole field. Um, then on the other side of this fence, just down over the ravine, is a uh, creek that runs down through there. And uh, I'm going to hit that too, if I have enough time today. It's uh, 60 degrees here in uh, Ohio, Newark. Uh, it was only 22 degrees this morning, so I went, I went ahead and waited until about 2 o'clock. I'm out here now. And uh, that and I wanted to try out my new AT Pro that I got. This will be the first time out in the field with it. So, And as far as detecting goes, this is pretty much what I carry on me. I got my gloves. I got my pouch. I got my Pro Pointer and my Garrett Edge Digger. Got my towel to put the dirt on. And then for me, some people use knee pads, some people don't use nothing. I've got a, like a hunting seat, inflatable seat that would strap around you, but I cut one end of the strap off and it just pretty much drags beside me or behind me. And then when I need it, I pull it around and get down on it with my knees. So, as far as equipment goes, that's what I'm using. So let's see what I can go out here and find with the new AT Pro. Okay, I'm not even 15 feet off the patio I was just on. Of course, I got my headphones on, but I'll let you guys see this. So we're going to go ahead and dig this and see what it is. Okay, so I got the plug dug, and it's right in there somewhere. This ground's froze. There it is, right there. Fell out. Can't really see it. Kind of looks like a modern dime. Sweet, first target I dig with the AT Pro. Got me a clad dime. Sweet. Okay, I uh, went ahead and scanned the hole after I uh, put the plug back in and not even five inches from the last hole. Um, give me a clad nickel. I'll go ahead and put this plug back in, scan the hole again, see if we got anything else in there. Okay, that's it. Alright, I had a real faint signal here on the AT Pro. Um, it was showing up as a 42, and I dug down. It said it was 8 inches, and it was every bit of 8 inches. Um, this is what it is. I have no idea what it is. Man, I don't have a clue. I'll have to check on it more when when I get home, get it cleaned up. But whatever it was, it was showing up as a 42 with AT Pro. All right, on the next hole. Okay, it's been a while since I recorded last. I've been digging a lot of trash, a lot of shredded pop cans and stuff. But I got a signal here showed up as a 75 on AT Pro. And at first I thought it was a button. But... It's got like a shank off the back side of it. I don't know what it is. I'll have to clean it up a lot better when I get home and see what it is. Could very well be a rivet too. A big old rivet. So. 
while I'm over here at the volleyball court, I decided to finish my uh, hunt up over here. So there's a couple things I got to do at the house. But uh, here swinging in, I got a turn about six inches. I'm gonna go ahead and dig this, I'll get back with you. Okay, I got this hole dug down here and I don't know if you can see it, but right there it is. I don't know what it is yet. Looks it could be a coin. I don't know what it is. What the heck is that? Well, that shoots my hopes down. Huh, I have no idea what that is. I'm going to have to clean that up when I get to the house and see what it is. I'll let you guys know what it is when I get it cleaned up. Alright, sorry guys if I look a little tired. It's about 2 o'clock in the morning. I uh, really can't sleep, so I decided I'd go ahead and clean up my finds for today and uh, let you guys see what I found. Um, I was only out there for about an hour, so I found a couple of Wheaties and so a couple of modern clad, uh, pull tab, a lot of trash. I didn't, uh, I ain't gonna show you all the trash that I found. I threw a lot of it out, so let's go over here and take a look at what I found today. All right, here are my finds for today. Um, uh, in the video, you'll notice one of the things that I found was this right here. Um, uh, I've cleaned it up and what I can tell from the green, this is copper. Uh, I tried to separate it. I twisted on it. I pulled on it. It don't budge. It's got some weight to it. Uh, so if any of you guys have any idea what this is, leave me a comment because I don't have a clue. I almost thought it was like a mini lipstick or something. Maybe the cap pulls off and this twist. I mean it could be. It could be froze together. But it was like 8 inches down so uh, and this hair seen in the video I found out what it is it's a it's an old top pop top so I got old junk beer cans top of one heck this might even be the pull tab to it <laughs> another top this is the whole top with the pull tab still attached to it this here, when I dug this, I thought this was a button, but after cleaning it up and looking at it, it's a rivet. You can see in the center where the gun breaks it off when you tighten it down. You can see where the other two prongs are supposed to be. A um, piece of flashing or aluminum siding, I think this is part of gutters. I found this near an old uh, restroom down there at the park. And then this, I think it's pewter. I don't, I don't, I don't know. It says P R E, and I think after that it might have been an S or something. It's broke off, whatever it was. And we got this piece of plastic here that, for a second, I couldn't figure out why I had a reading on it, but it's got a little nail in it, rusty nail. And this, I thought it was a zipper, but or the part to the zipper but now I'm not so sure I don't think it is I got clad nickel a couple clad dimes um, you can always tell the zinc pennies they're just all ate up when you dig them this one's pretty ate up and I got two wheat backs here uh, one's a uh, 1944 now the one's a 56 so that's my finds for the day with the Garrett AT Pro it was my first time having it out and I'll tell you what I love that detector is just absolutely awesome I love it um, unfortunately my coin master GT uh, a couple days ago I had it out and it uh something happened to the screen on it it, it uh 
started doing a bunch of erratic uh, tones and then the screen went blank on it so I just shipped it out today to whites to have it fixed so it's going to be my backup detector so happy hunting thanks for watching